Joining us now, speaking of the NCAA tournament, is a member of the number four overall seed BYU women's volleyball team, Lacey Haddock, outside hitter. Lacey, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. Uh, we just mentioned uh, during the break that it feels like forever since BYU has played a match, and it's probably because you were on the road, and now you've got an extra day because you typically played on Thursdays in WCC play, but now you open up on Friday. So how are you feeling after a, an extended layoff? Uh, we're feeling good. Um, we've been in the gym every day for practice since Monday, and so it feels good to work on the things that we can do better and the things that we're going to be facing in the tournament. Um, so it's been good. I think we've had a feisty week, and we I don't know. I've been just been really focused on competing hard because when we compete, we play really well together. I like to hear that word. Feisty. Yes. That's, I like, yes. that's, that's a good mentality to have. In the NCAA tournament. All right, I want to ask you this question. Okay. Did you know where Stony Brook was from when they said you're playing Stony Brook? I didn't. No. <laughs> I, I don't think you're. No, them. Don't don't say it like like I'm ashamed. I don't think most people knew where Stony Brook was from. It's in New York. Okay. But yes, it's it's one of those things. What what have you guys talked about? What have the coaches uh, talked to you guys about this Stony Brook team? Um, this week we've really focused on ourselves and how we can improve and not really worrying about who we're going to play in the tournament because whether it's Stony Brook or whoever I mean hopefully we we win that's our obviously that's our goal um but we really focus on us during the week and today we'll um watch some film and see how we can defend them how has the loss to LMU the lone loss on the season which happened to be the regular season finale and a big reason why the Lions got into the NCAA tournament how has that affected this team um, I mean, it's, it's definitely hard and it definitely is not fun to end on the regular season on that note, but, um, I mean, it's not the end of the world and we still got, um, a lot of opportunities to, um, play good teams and I think it has been a motivation. It was kind of a wake up call and it was, I mean, Elmi played really, really well and they're a really good team and so it was a really good matchup and I think it's just good for us to learn from that and learn how, we can be better in the tournament because it's win or go home. Is there a little added something for you and the other seniors for this tournament, knowing this is your last year? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think any senior playing in any um, big tournament is kind of have that added motivation. Um, but, I mean, we've all been together for the last four years, and even in high school we played against each other. And so it's just really special, and I think – I mean, I think a lot of this week has been that feisty and just like we're our goal is to win because if we win, then we're not then we're done. Everyone, a lot of people, on the other team, they're not done next year. But I think every single year it's like we're fighting to just keep playing volleyball because we don't want to stop playing volleyball. BYU senior outside hitter Lacey Haddock with us in Studio B as part of BYU Sports Nation and our coverage of the approaching NCAA women's volleyball tournament. By the way, you can watch game one of that live on BYU TV for the Cougars. Tomorrow, 7 Eastern, 5 Mountain, as they take on Stony Brook. One of, one of the more impressive things that I saw this season, and I've seen a lot of impressive things from BYU Women's Volleyball, was how your team rallied after McKenna Miller went down with an injury. I thought, man, this is a great opportunity, or not a great, but like the perfect scenario where the wheels could fall off because it is so emotionally charged when you lose a teammate and someone that you're so close with, but you found a way to win that match. And that showed me a lot of grit, a lot of toughness within this team. That said, she's not back, and you are a big part of filling the void that she leaves. So how does this team manage without McKenna Miller moving forward? Um, we've made adjustments, and our coaches are awesome. They're always problem-solving. And the practice after, they were working on how we can – um, kind of fill the offensive role and just, I mean, she's awesome. She has, brings that energy. Um, and so we've made adjustments and we've been working hard on it. And I think we're going to do really well. Certainly because of how well you guys played this year, the reward is that you get to host. And we know how dominating this team has been at home. We know what the fan support is like at the Smithfield house. What does it mean to you guys to be able to be at home for these? Uh, it means a lot just because our fans are the best in the world. I mean, I've never in my last four years, I've never had this many people coming to the games, even on Saturdays, and we're like sold out. I'm like, are you serious? Like, <laughs> this has never happened before. And so it just means a lot because we can give that to our fans and we feed off their energy. And we know that no matter who we play, they're always going to be there, even if we're on the road and LMU or any of these games, like it was packed with our fans. And that just 
means a lot that we can be here and have that support. I should make a correction. Nine Eastern, seven Mountain tomorrow. Uh, for the start of the BYU Stony Brook match live on BYU TV again, 9 Eastern, 7 Mountain Time. Perhaps your favorite home memory is still to come this uh, these approaching weeks, Lacey. But up to this point, do you have a favorite home memory as a senior when you look back on all of the epic things that have happened uh, in your career here? Let's see. Um, I mean, the Oregon match, the... Even the American match that we hosted, I think it was last year. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, playing Utah at home is so fun. I remember this year playing Utah at home. Just I'd never seen that many people at our games. I'd never seen attendance record that night. Yeah, and then like shooing a thousand people away. I was like, what? This has never <laughs> happened. And um, I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite. Just because playing at home is it's so fun and. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have a favorite. No, no. I say Utah or Oregon. Just the, the tournament matches are always my favorite part of the year. Speaking of epic, and I think you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I think uh, I do know oh where you're going boy. with this. <laughs> so your sister, Lindy, has had a fantastic season. Everybody oh, yeah. I talked to this year, when we talk about you know what's what has led to some, everybody brought up Lindy and her ability to kind of be the quarterback how proud have you been of her this season? I know you're always proud of each other, but this season, her, her game has been taken to another level. Uh huh. I'm so proud of her. Um, a lot of people, they'll kind of look at us and be like, is, is that annoying that she's like killing it? And I'm like, no. Like, There's a reason our parents put us as like different positions because we're so competitive. But no, I'm so pumped for her. She's done so well. And I mean, her blocking and her off offensive threat has just gotten so much better I mean she's always been good at that but she just kind of has that new like confidence and just like I don't care who I'm playing I don't care how big this outside hitter is like I'm gonna go up and block her and I don't <laughs> think a lot of teams I mean because setters always have that rep as like oh they're small like use them and I think Lindy's really just taking that like no like come at me and so I'm so proud of her she's done so well you're a good sister. You know that. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lacey, great to have you with us. Uh, before you go, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. I mean, run run karma. with that. Okay. We sign the flag, too. Run with it. Yes. We need to sign the flag as well. Put your name on the Sailor Coob behind you. like. Take that BYU Sports Nation karma and go and dominate Stony Brook. And just maybe Denver or Utah. You know, she may actually give Yoli a run for his money in terms of, like, the height. I mean, she would just need to jump up there to do it, but she can certainly do that. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past her vertical. Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs>